For Panama City Beach resident Melanie Manning, having a six-year-old certainly keeps her on the go. And being a single mom, she knows with hurricane season coming, she has to be prepared. I think we're pretty prepared. I actually used to work for the American Red Cross, so we were pretty keyed into hurricane season and, and being prepared. So I hope our house would pass the test. Which, if history is a gauge, her house, built in the 1960s, should be okay. Although it isn't, very far from the Gulf. Definitely withstood the hurricanes, the cinder blocks and the terrazzo floor. You feel safe here. But when the next storm threatens this family, they have Alabama on their mind to stay with family. I so said we would probably just get in the car and, and go. We wouldn't be the people that would ride it out and have a hurricane party. <laughs> Obviously, in any hurricane survival kit, you're going to need things like extra batteries and a flashlight, maybe a little bug spray. Also, a weather radio is very important, but don't forget about my friend Katie back here. She's going to need something for the kit. What do you got? Dumbo and my book. Excellent. So let's go ahead. We're all set. Having a basic kit is important, but remember specific items to keep children entertained, pets comfortable, and important medications that you might need. You can get the essentials for any kit, usually for under $100 which can be a small price to pay for the peace of mind that you and your family are prepared. Nice.